love it, I love it. I swear that I love it. I swear that I love it. Not to be cocky, but. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Tati Lachey. For those of you who are new, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But if you're watching this video and you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe. Um, so for today's video, um, I'm just going to be basically um, doing a braces update. Uh, I know the two other videos that I did post about my braces, they weren't really like actual you know footage of me getting my braces put on because I don't think they were gonna allow that so I just didn't um video or whatever but I did show you guys like before like how my teeth looked when I had the spacers on the spacers on and like how they looked once I got the braces actually on um so I real I got my braces put on December something I don't remember I think it was like 17 maybe I think it was earlier than that though um, I think it was probably earlier than that. I'm not for sure. I really can't remember. I wrote it down. So, um, first things first, we're going to start off from the beginning. Um, in those videos, I will leave them in the link in the description box. I will leave those links to those videos so y'all can actually see because it's just like the transformation is just so crazy because I just wasn't expecting it. Um to happen is like sort of so I wouldn't say it was quick but it was like still working but I mean from then to what they look like now is just a, I can see the difference so when you first go to get the braces put on they basically you go in for a um, consultation um, the first one I had set an appointment this wasn't a consultation I just had an appointment set to go and talk about you just know certain things and they get a look and see you know things like that I told them what was the issue because they asked me like why do you want braces like people always have told me that I've had pretty teeth but um it's like something different with other people seeing than what you see it's just like I mean for the most part like I do keep up with my teeth the reason why I got braces was because I had this very huge overbite that I do not like and my two big front teeth that are sitting in the front I know you guys can see that yeah these two right here that are sitting in the front um I haven't I never liked it that um ever since I was in the third grade um I've always had the issue with the two big front teeth sticking out I didn't really notice the overbite until like I got a little older um because I like to take pictures you know, when I tell y'all, I am, like, pictures everywhere. I don't care. If I see a mirror, I'm going to take a picture. If I'm out somewhere, picture, picture, picture. Like, I love taking pictures. I was teased about it. Uh, buck teeth, beaver teeth, horse teeth, um, bunny rabbit teeth. Yeah, you name it. Like, y'all, it was just, I mean, now it's kind of hilarious. Like, I can sit here and just laugh about it, like, now because I really don't care anymore. Um... But, like, back then when I was in, like, elementary to about middle school, like, eighth grade or whatever, I was I was actually hurt about it. Like, I was just like, oh, my gosh, if I could fix anything, I would fix my teeth. Like, my teeth are the only thing that I don't like in the fifth grade. And uh, a picture was taken, and it's just like, you know how when you take pictures from a different angle, it was taken from sideways. And I noticed that my teeth actually stuck out like over each other. So it was basically like this. Here's my top teeth right here and then here are my bottom teeth. And then here are my top teeth sticking out on my bottom teeth. And then it's just like the way it looked, it was just horrible. Like I hated it. And ever since then, I mean, I've always liked it to smile. But it's just like being like called out on it or whatever. Um... Once that, like I said, people would be like, oh, you got big teeth or, you know, just things like that. And, you know, people, and y'all know how people are, can be so mean sometimes, can be really harsh, just blunt, straight to the point. And it's just like, <sighs> I look in the mirror every single day, I know I have big teeth, like, I don't need you to tell me. 
the big teeth don't really bother me. It's just the overbite, honestly, because the big teeth are going to be there. Like, they're not going to go anywhere. It's that overbite that just really, honestly, it just gets me. I just can't. I don't. I can't. I just can't. I can't with it, like, honestly. Finally, I went ahead and took the time out to set an appointment. And, yeah, that finally did. So, I went to the appointment and I told him, like, I hated the overbite. I wanted to get rid of that, fix that, or whatever I could. Um, so, they told me that I would have to get them on top and bottom. Because if I only got them on the top, they would push my top teeth back. And then they didn't want the bottom to have to stick back because then it had to come back and then I had to get braces on the bottom and it just like, it has to be too much. Just do it all at one time. So, you'd be good. They told me I would have to put down a $1,000 deposit uh, for, before I came back, for the cons before I came back to get the spaces put on. So, I would have to have my $1,000 then. So, I had my $1,000, um, she told me before I come to get the spaces put on to take in a leave or something, like a little pain pill, you know, just something a little mild because they're going to be putting pressure on your teeth and it's going to give you a headache and it's going to be pulling like your jaws and everything like all up in here. So I took on a leave before I went and they put the spacers in. I had the spacers on for about a week. Uh, Wednesday, I think I went and got them put on. It was a Wednesday. And the next Wednesday when I came back, I finally was getting the braces put on. And I was really kind of surprised because I actually thought, like, the process was going to be totally different. I really was, like, so scared and nervous because I thought it was going to hurt. Y'all, when I tell you, I don't know why people say this. Well, me personally speaking from my experience, it didn't hurt at all. And it's just, like, I don't know where people get that from. But, like I said, it didn't hurt me at all like I was I was totally good like all they did was go in and she cleaned everything and they took this little they call it like little cement stuff and put the little dots on your teeth then they go in and put the brackets on there and then they put the wiring and then like these purple things the rubber bands they put those on um the first time uh, I had an issue because I wasn't supposed to eat like anything that was going to pull on them and I did not listen. Y'all went and got me a hamburger. And as soon as I ate into the hamburger, I bit it once and then the second time I bit it, like, this was like the day after I had just got the braces put on. And as soon as that I was chewing and I felt something like, what? And I automatically knew like, <laughs> like your bracket just came off and it just like was coming and poking me in my mouth and I'm just like what am I gonna do like it was poking me so I just went ahead and got some pliers whatever cut it had to go back got it fixed and we were good after that um I go every month to get like these uh my wires and stuff changed um the bands changed um I've had purple and blue I think I kind of want to get like you know pink next time um, but it doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. But for the most part, um, basically that's all for right now. Um, she did tell me how I was have to go uh, the week before I go to get my wire and bands changed. Um, I can feel the teeth tightening up and how I know is because it's just like my teeth start to hurt. And so I just take like in the leave or whatever. It's. It kind of feels like a headache, but it's in your mouth, basically, because it's just pulling. Um, and then the wiring and stuff starts poking me in my cheeks and starts um, cutting and making little sores in my mouth. But they gave me um, some wax. They give you wax for that. Um, I haven't used, I don't really use the wax at first, but like for the first two months I was using it, but now... Um, I don't really have any problems with it for right now, but I still keep it everywhere. I have one in my car, I have two in my purse, I have it in my lunch bag. I just make sure I have it. I'm trying to get it out so I can just show y'all know what wax looks like. This. And then you just peel a piece off and it comes off. And then you just stick it on your teeth or whatever. And y'all when I tell you it's a lifesaver. 
definitely was a lifesaver because I'm telling you, when I first got them on, I was cutting like all my gums and everything. I couldn't eat because every time I chew, it just rub, rub, rub. And I was just like, this is not going to work. Like, So, the wax definitely helps. Thing for when you floss, it's kind of like a floss, but it has a little hole. And you stick the string through there and you just go up in there and do that. The way you brush, you brush, you don't, you kind of, well, you don't really brush as normal as you would if you didn't have braces. You have to take your toothbrush and put it on top of your braces and brush down right here. And then flip your toothbrush and then go up just like that. That's how she told me how to brush. That's how I've been brushing. I, I've always brushed my teeth like two or three times a day. Um, if not three times, it's two times. I try and get it after every time I eat. Um, and I make sure that I floss because, y'all, this is your own, out of everything, the most annoying thing, basically, is when I eat, food gets stuck in my teeth and it's just like, if I don't pay attention, it's just like, I don't want to be out in front of somebody eating and, like, I have something stuck in my teeth, like, it's going to be embarrassing. So, it's off with a lisp, um, y'all can probably hear it, um... That was kind of annoying at first because it's just like I couldn't really talk like I want to talk and it's just like spit. Like it'd be so much like and it's just like after a while you get used to it. I say after the first week everything just becomes, you know, you get used to it. The thousand dollar deposit what I had to put down. Um, I pay a, I pay a certain amount every month. Um, I'm thinking about just going ahead and paying it off because I don't have that much left. Um... All together was four thousand. Um, my insurance didn't cover anything. Some people's insurance might. I don't know. Mine didn't cover anything. So, oh well. He told me to give him two years. Now I don't know if it would be exactly the whole two years. Hope it's just two. Um, but if it's less, I am totally fine with that. Like I said, they're not a problem. I don't have a problem with the braces yet. I don't know if we move further and they might have to do something else. I don't know. But so far, I have no problems with the braces. They do not hurt. Make sure you just keep up with your teeth, period. Even if you don't have braces. I don't know. Y'all probably can't tell because of the lighting or whatever. It still sticks out, but they're getting pushed back. And, like, I noticed, like, the front teeth, they all, well, these front four, but the front two always stuck out more than these two right here but it was like the main four in the front like these four that stuck out that you can tell that was the overbite those have been pushed back a little and they're starting to straighten up and be lined up by each other and that's what i was talking about when i was like i noticed that change i've definitely i've definitely noticed that some foods are kind of hard to eat because of the braces because it's just like when you bite into food your teeth usually chomps down and it's just like since you got braces on the food goes in between um for instance burgers corn um anything that just you really have to bite into that has something else on the other side now if you cut your food up and then put it in your mouth you're good but it's just like when i get ready to eat i'm ready to just eat so far, everything has been good. I haven't had any issues. Anything changes when I go to the dentist, I will do another video for you guys about that. But as far as me just going to get them changed, nothing really is happening besides my teeth. I'll take, I'll continue to take pictures though. But yeah, basically that is all for this video. Anything I've said in this video um, is my personal opinion and the experience that I've went through. It might be different from others. I am not stating that I am putting out professional, you know, stuff. I'm not putting out anything like that. This is just my personal experience and what I've uh, been through with the whole process of getting my braces. So, but yeah. That is basically all for this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Um, also, don't forget to like and comment. And also share the video. Uh, just share it. I don't care where you share it. Just share it so more people will be able to see my videos. Go watch my other videos as well. Um, yeah. And that is all for the video, you guys. I will see you guys later.
crying.